learning lab values for the NCLEX might have you feeling like you're in the depths of dread. But don't worry guys, in this video, we're gonna give you the 20 must know lab values you need to pass the NCLEX. In this video, we're just gonna cover high and low ranges for each of these lab values. Now these lab values come from the NCSBN, which is the company that writes the NCLEX. So you really need to know these ones. If you want a more in-depth view of each of these lab values, click the link in the description. All right guys, let's dive in, jump over to my computer. So let's dive into the 20 lab values that you must know for NCLEX. Now, there's other lab values that are good to know. There's other lab values that are fine to know. But these are the 20 lab values that you must know for NCLEX. And this is coming straight from the NCSBN, which administers the NCLEX. So let's talk really quickly about the lab values that we're going to cover. We're going to cover pH, PaCO2, bicarbonate, BUN, cholesterol, glucose, hematocrit, hemoglobin, hemoglobin A1C, platelets, potassium, sodium, white blood cells, creatinine, PT, PTT, INR, calcium, chloride, red blood cells. So let's dive in really quickly and we will start talking about these labs we're going to cover. So the value that I want you to know for pH is going to be 7.35 to 7.45. Now, if you have a piece of paper or if you have um, uh, your phone or something, start taking notes. These are the values you really need to know. For CO2, it's going to be 35 to 45. That's really easy to remember because it lines up right here with 7.35, 7.45. For bicarb, it's 22 to 26. That's the value I want you to know. Now, for BUN, what's the number we need to know? We need to know 7 to 20. For cholesterol, we need to know we want it less than 200. Once it gets over 200, we start being worried about our patient and uh, their cholesterol level. For glucose, we want it to 70 to 115. Again, you might see values slightly different uh, at your institution or in your textbook, but for NCLEX, look at 70 to 115. For hematocrit, for hematocrit, we look at a male volume or a male value and a female value. For males, the value that we want is 41 to 50. And for females, it's 36 to 44. All right, you got that one written down. Now we're gonna go into hemoglobin. Hemoglobin as well, we have a male value and we have a female value. For males, the value that we want is 13.5 to 16.5. And for females, we want it 12 to 15. Okay. For hemoglobin A1C, we want it 5.6 to 7.5, or I always kind of remember seven or five to seven. Now remember on the NCLEX, they're not gonna test you with something that's like 7.1 or 7.6 and ask you if that's high. They're gonna give you ranges that are really high. They're gonna give you a 10 here. They're gonna give you a three here. They're gonna give you ranges that are far outside the norm. They're not gonna give you something that's like right on the borderline of the norm. So again, these are the values that I want you to write down. I want you to know because you're not gonna see values that are like so close that they're trying to trick you with these lab values. They want to know what if you know what to do with hyper or hypo. With platelets, let's look at 100,000 to 450. As we get down into like the 20,000s, we're really worried about thrombocytopenia in these patients. So really keep that one in mind. Potassium, this is a really important cardiac one that we're going to want to watch out for. We want to keep it about 3.5 to 5. Sodium. Sodium is one that I love to talk about because it's really important with fluid and electrolyte balance. We're going to go 135 to 145. On our white blood cells, this is an important one to watch out for. You're going to see a lot of questions about white blood cells. The number I want you to keep in mind is 4,500 up to about 10,000. Okay. We're looking at leukemia way down here, and we're looking at infections way up here. For creatinine, think of 0 0.7 up to 1.4. For PT, getting into our bleeding times, let's look at 11 to 14 seconds on PT. On PTT, 25 to 35. And then on INR, it's going to be 0 0.8 to 1.2. We're just talking about calcium. Calcium, we're going to look at about 8.4 to 
chloride, 96. 108 is the value I want you to know for NCLEX. So for red, red blood cells, we're going to have a male value and a female value. And for males, for red blood cells, we're looking at 4.5 to 5.5. And for females, we're looking at 4.0 to 4.9. All right, those are all the values that I want you to know. Let's look through this really quick. And if you uh, have your phone out or if you want to take a picture, here's the best time to do it. We talked about pH. We talked about PaCO2, bicarb, BUN, cholesterol, glucose, hematocrit, hemoglobin, hemoglobin A1C, and platelets. So go ahead and take a shot of that. And then the second half that we talked about was potassium, sodium, white blood cells, creatinine, PT, PTT, INR, calcium, chloride, and red blood cells. I'll show these to you one more time. And right there. All right, guys, I hope this helps. These are the 20 lab values that you must know for NCLEX. There's a million other labs you can know. And you're going to see ranges that vary slightly, but these are the lab values I want you to know for NCLEX. And I think these are going to help you more than trying to memorize all these other lab values. I hope that clears up the 20 must-know labs you need for the NCLEX. To get a copy of our book, 63 Must-Know Labs, head over to nursing.com slash labs. We'll send you a free copy when you pay for shipping. That's nursing.com slash labs. All right, guys, we love you. Now go out and be your best selves today. Happy nursing.